Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about potential NFL free agency landing spots for Cam Newton, Jason Peters, and Devontae Freeman. If you're new around here, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Um, also, my Instagram is in the description down below. Also, on a side note, if you haven't heard already, I have been writing for um, a Bills fan page as well as theupdog.com. Both of these are sports writing websites um, where I get to post my articles about different sports topics. If you're interested in those, um, I will link those down below in the description. And also, I just hope you enjoyed the video. Starting with Cam Newton, I think a really good fit for him could be the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I know people are going to be like, but hold up for a second, there's Gardner Minshew. They're, they want to go with Gardner Minshew. They've made it very clear, and I, I agree with that. They have made it very clear. However, I think Cam Newton is more than just a replacement to Gardner Minshew. And I'm not saying he is a replacement to Gardner Minshew. Instead, Newton, you know what? He knows how to work at football. I say it all the time here, but it's really true, right? He's going to work harder than anyone else. And if he goes to Jacksonville, yes, he's going to compete for the starting job. However, let's say Minshew gets it, right? Newton would not only be a great role model for any young quarterback, especially Newton. Uh, I mean, especially Gardner Minshew. Um, and, and Newton, he's been in the league for, for probably a decade at this point. Um, he's a he's a Super Bowl player. He's been in the Super Bowl before. He's an MVP caliber player um, after having that MVP season um, a few years back. As well, he's a former first overall pick. He's a three-time Pro Bowler. Like, he's got all the career accolades. And for, for me, for a young quarterback, especially um, drafted in a later round, bringing that to Minshew can really help him out, right? It gives him a different um, uh, skill set that he can model himself out. And you know what? If, if Noon passes on those MVP-like skills um, to Minshew, that could be a, just a home run um, uh, addition for the Jags. Also, if Minshew doesn't work out next year, right? Now the Jags have a really viable option in Cam Newton. Newton, when he's healthy, ready to go, he's a potential top 10 upside uh, quarterback in the NFL. So I think not only would Cam Newton going to the Jags be a good move for the Jags themselves, but also a good move for Minshew. And if Cam Newton gets an opportunity there, um, I think it could be a good uh, move for him just because he might get another opportunity to start. So all in all, I really like this move here, uh, Cam Newton to the Jags. Next up, I'm going to talk about Jason Peters to the Broncos. So for Jason Peters, he's 38 years old. He's a former undrafted free agent. He's a Super Bowl champion. He's a nine-time Pro Bowler. He has all the cure accolades that you've ever needed as a, at an offensive tackle position, right? He's probably one of the best offensive tackles to ever play the game. And the thing is, Peters, he's now 38, as I mentioned, so he probably wants to go to a team that can win now, so he might get another Super Bowl ch chance um, or another uh, opportunity in the Super Bowl. So I don't know if the Broncos are there yet. However, I think he could just be a really good fit for them. Um, people are saying that Drew Locke um, is going to explode next year. However, for him to explode, he's going to be he's going to need time in the pocket to utilize his weapons um, like Melvin Gordon, um, Philip Lindsay, KJ Hamler. I love that pick for the Broncos in the draft, as well as Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton. He's going to need time. Also, Noah Fant is an option for him. However. Garrett Bowles at left tackle is not doing anything, right? Their right tackle and their right guard in, in Jawan James and Graham Glasgow um, are solid and viable options um, on the offensive line. They're going to help um, that offensive line under Drew Locke, but on that left side, Garrett Bowles, after being drafted uh, in the first round a few years ago, um, has just not lived up to those expectations that the Broncos really had for him coming out of the draft. So putting Jason Peters in there for a year or two years, helping Drew Locke grow, maybe even getting a shot in the in the playoffs and having that experience i say it all the time i'm gonna say it again that that experience is so crucial right um J uh, jason peters has more experience than almost anyone else in the nfl and i think he can really bring that to not only the the broncos o-line but just to the broncos offense and the broncos organization he brings that that extra guy who's been there in the league um for what seems like ages and he knows how to get it done in the nfl he knows ways to get it done and he's gonna, he's just gonna help out those all those younger players on that broncos offense um so i think jason peters um, gets a chance there in, in, in Denver, not only to try and get back to the playoffs, try and get back to the Super Bowl again, um, but also just go against good competition, um, continue playing his career. After all, I think that's what Peters wants to do. He wants to continue playing um, maybe into his age 40 season. So I think Jason Peters to the Broncos is a good fit for both Jason Peters and the Broncos. And finally, I'm going to talk Devontae Freeman to the Eagles. So People are probably saying, why would the Eagles need another running back? And that's a really good point. They do have Miles Sanders and Boston Scott, but we know that Doug Peterson loves to use a running back by committee system. And I think Devontae Freeman could fit into that. But other people may say, why is Devontae Freeman going to go to uh, the Eagles? He 
he declined a contract with the Seahawks for about three to five million dollars, and that just makes it clear that he doesn't want to play anymore, right? No. Actually, he said on Instagram that he has 10 years left in the tank. He wants to play for 10 more years. And although I think that's a little bit outrageous and I think that's a little bit uh, questionable, I think he still has some years left in the tank. Yes, um, he's come off a few years where he hasn't produced um, to the point he did in, in 2015 and 2016 where he was one of the better running backs in the NFL, yet he's still a, a good running back who can run the football, he can catch the football out of the backfield, and he adds another flavor and another dimension um, to that Eagles offense. Um, and I think that's going to help Carson Wentz. After all, the Eagles need another weapon. They need more weapons because, after all, they're competing for that number one spot in the NFC East with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I don't think the Giants or the Redskins really have a chance, but the Cowboys, they added a lot of talent, and I think the Eagles need to do the same, right? The Eagles really have it heavily invested in their wide receivers, um, getting Jalen Rager in the draft, bringing Marquise Goodwin, um, etc., but they really haven't looked at their running backs. Um, besides Miles Sanders, they just look right now that they're going to run with him. However, I really just think um, Devontae Freeman just adds another flavor. He adds another spice. Um, he adds another option, another weapon for Doug Peterson in that offense. And I think that could just really help Carson Wentz down the stretch. Um, also, Freeman um, has been to a Super Bowl before, right? Obviously, that Eagles organization went to the Super Bowl um, a few years ago, and they want more Super Bowl um, caliber players. Um, to help them get there again. So I think Devontae Freeman would be a really good fit um, with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now that you've reached the end of my video, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as it helps my channel out, and check out my other videos on my channel. Also, you can follow my Instagram, the link is in the description down below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, see ya.